Hey everyone, my name is Heath. And I am Greg. We're both librarians here in the Library Learning Commons at Lake Washington Institute of Technology, and we wanted to talk to you today about copyright and fair use. Now we know copyright compliance can be a little confusing and yikes, intimidating, but Greg and I wanted to make this video to give you a better understanding of copyright and fair use so you can be a master at it. And we both want to let you know up front that we, we are, are not copyright, copyright lawyers. lawyers. But we are librarians and we know a lot about copyright and fair use. So we want to put you at ease with all this copyright and fair use business. So let's begin. There's a lot to copyright, but it doesn't need to be scary. According to the Legal Information Institute of Cornell University Law School, Copyright is federally backed legislation that protects the creative works of authors, producers, and creators. Under copyright, the creator or author has the exclusive right to reproduce, distribute, perform, display, license, and or create derivative works. An author or creator does not need to obtain a formal copyright for a work because copyright applies as soon as the work is fixed in a tangible form. Copyright does not protect ideas. And how this affects you is that you are bringing copyrighted content into the classroom and sharing it with your students. It is the responsibility of faculty and librarians to encourage a community of ethical and legal scholarship, acknowledging the work that has come before and the work that is being created in your classes today. So now that we have a general understanding of copyright, and the principles of copyright and how they affect academia, what is fair use and how can we understand it? Well, fair use is a legal precedent allowing individuals to utilize others' work and content without asking permission. That's right, Heath. If you meet certain criteria for fair use, you do not need to ask permission from the owner of those words, lines, and chapters. Fair use is specifically included in copyright law to allow material to be used in education. The four factors of fair use are as follows. One, the purpose and character of your use. Two, the nature of the copyrighted work. Three, the amount and substantiality of the portion taken. And four, the effect of the use upon the potential market. But what does that all mean, Heath? Good question, Greg. By following one of the four criteria, which you can learn about from a URL that's placed in the description area, you can determine whether the material can be used without permission. Mm-hmm. Mm, oh, uh, Heath? Yeah, Greg? We better tell them one more time. Right. Even though we can help you sort through some of your fair use questions, we are not copyright lawyers. That's right, but we do have one more trick up our sleeves. That's right, one more recommendation for you. In the case that you can't determine fair use, you can always request permission from the intellectual property owner. You can learn more here at this link below. At the end of the day, we want to make sure everyone at Lake Washington Institute of Technology is using intellectual property correctly and legally because we are the model for our students if you would like to discuss this in person please reach out to us via email at library at lwtech.edu be, be ethical, ethical with intellectual, intellectual property. property it's, it's the, the right, right thing, thing to do, do.